Hi, this is James Kandasamy. I'm here with Mauricio Raut, our one of our SEC lawyer, and uh, we are actually in the beautiful Los Angeles. I'm going for a meetup, and I've thought of doing this video for you guys. And this video, we want to focus on how do you establish substantial relationship, yeah. right? So. Yeah. Uh, Mauricio, you want to give uh, really good, some really good tips for yeah, our uh, yeah. audience so, here? So anytime you meet somebody new, right? Like we're going to a meetup and you're going to meet new people and it's, mm -hmm. you're tempted to go offer them your next deal, right? You got to remember you have to have a pre-existing substantive relationship with your prospective investors if you're doing a 506B, right? So how do you establish that pre-existing substantive relationship? That's the question. Uh, yeah, really how do you, what's the, what are the steps? Luckily for us, the SEC has come out with like seven steps. It's one of the few times the SEC is actually giving us guidance. Uh, and there's a no action letter called Citizen VC No Action Letter. And we can Google know. that, right? You can Google it or you can link it. Citizen, Citizen VC. VC No Action Letter gives you the seven steps that you need to go through in order to take somebody that's a complete stranger all the way to a substantive relationship so you can then offer them a future deal. Okay, because you still can't offer them. You have a pre-existing relationship, which means pre-existing your offering. So the most important one, there's probably the two most important ones. Uh -huh. Number one is you want to give them a questionnaire. Right, a, quite, a very detailed questionnaire that you're asking them their level of sophistication, their income, you know, how their experience. Uh, you're just really trying to get some really good detailed information in this questionnaire. And then the second.